It was the end of the week. She was looking forward to finishing work and going to a big family reunion. She was going to leave early to come and meet us at my mom and dad's house in Gainesville. It was going to be a great weekend. But Denise would never make it to the party. I was literally just finishing up. I reach on top of the cage. And the pain was immediate. Denise had one puncture wound on her right hand. The symptoms went very rapidly downhill. The pain, it's unbearable. It was worse than the previous bite. So we get to the ER, and they put me on the table. I could barely feel my legs. Then I couldn't open my eyes. And that's when it hit me that I might not uh, survive. As doctors fought to save Denise's life, her family was oblivious to what was happening. We just didn't hear from her. We're like, that's weird. We haven't heard from Denise. And we just kept calling her phone and calling. 10 hours passed before Denise's family received the call they had come to dread. When we found out that she was in the hospital again, it was just devastating. You know, we were like, oh, not again. The doctors managed to stabilize Denise and reverse the effects of the paralysis. But there were complications. This cannot be this painful. After I'd gotten antivenom, my hand is getting more and more swollen. Denise had developed a serious infection deep within her right hand. We have to let the infection peak and then drop down for us to be able to treat you because at this point, there's nothing we can do. You're gonna lose your hand. I was screaming, here's the end of my career because I'm gonna have one hand. To save her hand, Denise gave the doctors permission to perform an aggressive surgical technique known as a fasciotomy. They would have to cut open her hand. The wound would be kept open until the infection had cleared. And I had to clean out my wound, and I had to take care of myself. Just any, any task was, was hard for me. It was three months before Denise's hand was closed up and able to heal. But the venom had completely dissolved her fourth knuckle. And this is what happened to my hand. Um, I have a, a joint to be replaced, which has to be replaced every 15 to 20 years now. And it's very painful. Denise also has mental scars from the ordeal. Still today, I wake up crying. I have nightmares. It was a very devastating and life-changing experience. 